comment on that? Well, maybe it's a bit of an exaggeration, but none of the indicators work. I'll explain what I, I say, because uh, in fact tomorrow, part of my presentation on Elliott Wave and Fibonacci will lead up to a course which I actually guarantee, 100% guarantee, mm. that people who follow the rules of this course will make money. And uh, it's not on Elliott, it's not on Fibonacci, it is on an indicator. It's a common indicator. In fact, uh, when I mention that, people always, what, what indicator, mm, what please, indicator? Please tell us now, what but is it? <laughs> in fact, it doesn't matter which indicator. The reason most indicators don't work is because the people are not applying them in the most effective way. Uh, take, for example, uh, virtually anything, MACD, stochastics, any, virtually any indicator you want to use can be made to be a very effective, that's without changing parameters, okay. just the correct application. Okay. And uh, so I'm a little bit amazed at myself that we're able, because I'm very much into Elliott Wave and Fibonacci and patterns and timing and all of that, uh, but this indicator combined with that is dynamite. It, uh, it really is. And that's why I can actually guarantee and I guess that we've had in the past two or three months about 300 students already graduate from a two-day course with me. Not one has yet asked for their money back. I was going to say, you're going to leave us with that, though. Are you, are you going to leave us sitting on the edge waiting? Do I need to get my wallet out and offer absolutely, some, offer yes, some money? Or oh, let's do it. After, let's do it afterwards uh, off camera. Then, okay, we'll do that. Um, Talking about discipline, I often say it's just the most important character attribute. It all boils down to we want to do this, but our trading plan says we have to do this, and they're virtually opposite all the time. And it's the discipline which is the bridge between what we want to do and what we have to do. I've had some people come to me and say, Stuart, I know all the rules. I've got a plan that you know. I've got a plan that I'm happy with. I just cannot follow the plan. I just don't have the discipline. And I know I don't have the discipline. So what can we do to help those people, I guess, just develop some habits or become disciplined where they do follow the plan because it is so critical? I, I suspect that some people are naturally disciplined. Um, I'm a little bit impulsive myself and, and I have to control that emotion. Uh, and I, But I think it, it it's simply by uh, looking and working with maybe hundreds or thousands of charts, applying the method even if it happens to be on a demo or without really putting substantial money at risk mm. uh, until the confidence builds up that uh, I'm trading not what I want to believe or what I think, but what the market is really doing. What you're seeing rather than what you're believing. Yes. Okay, so it really you're saying it, it's going to take time. To yeah. develop that. Do it's it not over and flicking over. a switch or... It's basically the same with every everything that human beings do from learning to walk as a little baby. Mm -hmm. They crawl, they try to stand up, they fall down, they don't give up. It's practice over and over. Any career uh, that people are involved in, it takes time to really absorb everything and become confident. And develop the aptitude and the Absolutely. confidence. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, this is no different. Okay. Well, it's terrific. I guess the, the key message there is patience. It, it, it will happen for you, it's just a matter of taking time. And it's a matter of, well, uh, my students, uh, I give them a, not not years of a guarantee. They, there are some, of, some of my students right now who have never traded in their life mm -hmm. are, are doing very well week by week after only about six or eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so for any career that you can make that much progress in that time, to me, is phenomenal. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, but it's, it's the confidence issue and getting your own biases out of the way as much as possible. Mm. Okay, fantastic. A couple of things to finish off, if I may. The world's a bit of a mess. We're in China right now. Not that China seems to be in the middle of a mess. There's buildings everywhere and cranes everywhere and construction work continues here. Um, but the world is a bit of a mess, November 2008. How has that impacted on your own trading? Has that affected it in any way? The volatility has been incredible, mm. and the opportunities based on, on the methods that we're, we're applying are working as well now as they did when it was much less volatile. Okay. Uh, however, risk has, has gone up a little bit because uh, of the volatility. Our stop losses would seem to have to be a little bit further away. 
Um, so that's, it, it's not affected the method as so much as the risk management. The, okay. And I guess so we've seen a lot of volatility in um, well, certainly equity markets, but foreign exchange, the way the US dollar has moved as much as it has and other currencies have depreciated against it. It's, uh, so I guess it's uh, reassuring for you to know that whilst the volatility picks up and therefore the risk increases slightly, the method has still been working for you and apply consistently has been doing well. Yes, okay. and uh, I'll, I'll, as long as there's a forex market, which for the foreseeable future there's, there's going to be, yes. uh, we'll continue to have great opportunities. Okay, fantastic. Finally, uh, a close friend, perhaps a member of your own family comes to you and says, Don, I love what you're doing, I love this trading thing, I've never done it before but I really want to start. What would be probably the most important piece of advice you could give them? Well, in fact, one of my sons right now back in Canada says, Dad, I really want to do this. Uh, can you help me? I said, well, I, I've got to, uh, if we're going to communicate by email or however, I've got to make it very understandable. Uh, and that'll take me, you know, a few weeks. Um, first of all, you, you've got to learn about charts. You've got to learn, in my opinion, about that, marks don't, that uh, markets don't normally go in a straight line. There are corrections. Some of those can be predicted, but if not, they can be, they can be seen. And they all have meaning of resistance and support and maybe potential movement. Uh, so I've got to give that introduction to them. And I think without getting too deep into some of the more challenging concepts that uh, I've acquired over years, I would then introduce them quite rapidly into my one indicator which I'm going to uh, uh, share with him. Which, I'll, which you'll be telling me about in about five <laughs> minutes when we, uh, when we first stop here. Okay, yeah. all right. But it's Fair not enough. a new indicator, it, it's one that's found on any charting package. I, I don't think we need anything esoteric or how many, bizarre. How many letters would be in its name? Perhaps can you give us a... No, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't counted. <laughs> oh, oh, you could do it but, on this uh, one. In fact, it's not which indicator, it's how, how it's you, used. How you're applying it. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, Don. Well, thank you. Um, thank you very much for your time today. I know you, uh, you're speaking after me tomorrow. I hope I haven't uh, exhausted the interpreter, the translator, too much uh, Well, I'm sure morning. you'll be a hard act to follow. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. All right. John, thank you very much for your time today. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's an introduction to a man who's been in the markets uh, on and off for many, many years and uh, had a lot of experience. And, and hopefully you've been able to learn something today from him. Thanks, Don. Appreciate thank you. It.